Hi, Dr. Barbara Gast here for the Heritage Park Board of Directors, which includes uh, myself, Ernie, Kathy, Richard, and James. Uh, so we've been busy with the planning committee where we are, in fact, uh, trying to anticipate or give some direction to APM. One of the major changes you may have noticed is we uh, have not only a new community manager, but we have a new assistant. So the new Juanita is um, Jamie, and you'll see her name on the new uh, signs that are on the door about wearing a mask. Um, so when you call in, uh, you can ask for Jamie, and um, or they'll redirect you. Now, um, our new community manager is Genevieve Munoz, and Genevieve is wonderful. You will see her on site walking around and very user friendly. So we're very pleased. Now what happened to uh, Terry and uh, Juanita? That We have a new team. They're still with APM. But what we wanted to do was take a new direction, put some energy into doing things a little differently uh, in the fact of trying to an anticipate better some of these things that need maintenance. So we did an extensive update on the maintenance uh, schedule. That's available, it's worth your looking at. Uh, it's gonna be uploaded into the web portal and it's also available in the red book at the concierge desk. Why do you need to know that? Well, okay, some of the questions going on right now. Why is it so hot in the hallway? We turned the air conditioning on April 15th, so that's going to be coming on this week. Um, what, what about the temperature of the pool? The temperature, we will no longer be heating the pool after April 15th, and then that runs through uh, the period of, um, through uh, September, uh, October 15th. Uh, we also took a look at how, how often we should be cleaning the carpets, all these different things. So. It's, uh, this is how we're communicating with you. Uh, I know some of you are a little frustrated because of Zoom and you want to be face to face. We still have the mask mandate uh, until we can see ourselves through, and we're getting close, but until we get ourselves through the COVID issue. Uh, if you're like me, I have the second vaccine and I'm feeling much better about it. Uh, but we still need to protect those that are uh, on, site that's uh, we have some people who cannot take the vaccine or choose not to and uh, we need to be uh, just diligent in what we do what else uh, I'm I encourage you to look at the minutes to see some of the actions that's going on uh, we've been on the courtyard you'll see the uh, the fountain looks beautiful it's clean we invested unexpectedly but we did invest um, a good amount of money into that area to see that it's perform performing properly uh, we also are trying to clean up the putting green area and some of you are probably anxious about why can't it go faster it's a democratic process and we do like to hear uh, or give opportunity to every unit owner or resident to be able to comment on things that we may be uh, adjusting. The other thing is if you have something that you want to donate, we ask that you fill out a donation form where you clearly provide the ownership of whatever you're donating to Heritage Park. That way it's very clear whether we want to accept it. And the other is that if we uh, need to move it in another area, then it is the property of Heritage Park. You you give that up when you donate it. Uh, my report is coming out, so I have to say there is a, a lot of activity, and my apologies. Uh, behind the scenes, we've tried to, um, uh, I you'll see more activity than you've seen in a long time, because we have dedicated board members, and each is working hard in their area to bring ideas forward to the board so the board can vote on it. And uh, that's the process we're following. So welcome, Jamie. Uh, we are excited to be able to have a team with Genevieve and Jamie to uh, 
listen to our concerns and let's uh, try to uh, be pleasant, be happy, be kind to each other. Okay. Take care.